Welcome back to my Near Automata 2B cosplay series where I attempt to create 2B's outfit out of latex. Today we're making her gloves. I'm planning to turn my short black gloves into opera gloves by layering them with white gauntlets. And we might face some challenges with the black gloves that I own. These were gifted to me a couple of years ago, but they have always been a bit loose on me. My fingers look like sausages in these, and they're also very loose at the wrist, which might cause some bunching up once we layer the gauntlets on. But let's just ignore those factors for now. To draw the pattern for the gauntlets, you will need the following measurements. The width of the design. This can be estimated by just measuring the back of your hand. The circumference of your palm from where the gauntlet starts, your wrist circumference, your arm circumference, and the length from the top to the bottom as well as from the top to the wrist. Now with our measurements at hand we can start drafting the pattern. I'm starting by drawing the center line and just drafting the other side of the pattern first. Then I cut out the other side and fold the paper. This way I can keep the pattern symmetrical. Once I've finished drawing the other side, I cut out the pattern piece. Tubi has a black design running across her glove and I decided to create that with black latex. I'm drawing this design on the pattern piece for later use. Then I place the pattern on a folded sheet of latex. This way I can cut out two identical pieces in one go. Now, if you're ever wondering what size rotary cutter you should get, I would suggest getting a smaller one because it is easier to cut tight curves with it. The curves on this pattern were a bit too tight, however, so I used tiny scissors to smooth them out. Next, I used those tiny scissors to cut out the small pattern we just made. I cut only half of it because I wanted to work with a shorter piece. This way, it should be a bit easier to align the pieces with the top of the gauntlet. I like to stiffen up the latex with masking tape before I clean it with solvent and add glue. This way the pieces don't curl and attach to themselves. I cleaned the back sides of the black pieces and the top of the gauntlet where I want to attach the design. Then I applied solvent-based latex adhesive on the gauntlet and the black pieces. Now, here comes the most challenging part, which is to align the pieces so that they align somewhat symmetrically. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't get them perfectly, but my pieces were a bit asymmetrical to begin with. Then all that was left to do was to attach the seam. And as usual, we need to let the glue cure for 24 hours before we can try these on. Then I just added some finishing touches to the gloves with a water-based paint sharpie. I decided to draw these white teardrops instead of gluing them because I was too lazy to wash my gloves and prep them for gluing, but uh, also the marker is easier to remove in case I want to use these gloves for something else in the future. And here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave me a like and follow for more tutorials. I finally got my missing materials for 2 Beast Leotard, so we will be finally creating that next time. If you would like to see how that goes, feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Happy crafting!